So we've talked about the stages within your funnel, right, where you manage conversations. And so here I'm going to give you a brief summary on, on labels and just how that funnel works stage by stage, right? So you, you have prospecting, conversion, retention, customer service, and all the different things that you have within your process. But how does that how does the labels look like in your in your workflow, right? Within that process. And so you're gonna have here the four stages again with each of the opportunity, lead, customer, and ticket, right? And this is kind of like the arrows show you how your users will move along your funnel, right? And so the first thing is I open a conversation, so I start that as an opportunity open. And that's the tag that I use. If the user does not respond or for whatever reason I send them to lost, I have to do two things. One is I have to change the opportunity open to an opportunity close. But I also have to select what was the reason for losing that customer, right? Was it no response, the price, wrong profile, competition, or any other or, or other reasons of why you lost it? If for whatever reason I end up actually prospecting it, I understand his needs and I want to convert them now right i want to schedule a meeting uh, i want to have them purchase something i send them to a lead open and so i change them from opportunity to lead open if i lose that customer at that stage then i send them to lead close but i also want to select the reason of why i send them to lost right like was it no response same thing i'm going to be able to then cluster those uh, groups and see who are my leads where I lost them for, for and for what reason, right? If I'm able to actually convert them to a customer, they make a purchase, they came to the appointment, uh, I ended up buying, uh, they ended up buying a, an apartment, for example, or renting from me, then they become customers. And so customers is your last stage where they're not gonna move from here. They're always gonna be your customer, right? And then you have tickets. And so if I have um, specific support tickets, or things related to the product, then I have tickets that are open. Uh, I can, again, if I close that ticket or I lose it, then I can say ticket closed or and see if like there was no response, price, room profile, competition. Usually what we do with tickets is no response. A lot of people ask questions, but they won't respond. So you wanna have that, you know, um, answer right there. If I'm able to actually resolve that, I just close the ticket and I'm done. The other thing that's important here is, you know, does this conversation need a special attention or urgency? And that's important here because I can actually send the person to the tag of important. And so if they're an opportunity open, a lead open, or a ticket open, I can tag them as important as well. And then there's some tickets that are gonna be users asking specific questions that I might be able to convert them into prospect. So can I convert that ticket into prospect? And so I can change the ticket to my new opportunity and I start the process again. And so this is just how overall your process for managing your conversation workflow will look like and how the tags move as users move along the funnel and what you can use to show your team, whether it's yourself or if you actually have a team of how you can show them how to use the funnel and the tags properly so that everybody is aligned and they're actually using the same process in place.